Hi, I'm Emily Taylor from Collage Quilter. Today I'm going to quilt one of the blocks from the Garden Party Quilt. So you can see that I've finished uh, collaging and designing this little block and I've trimmed it up so that it's 14 inches square as are all the blocks in the Garden Party project and now I'm gonna quilt it. I've had lots of requests to have me demonstrate how I quilt. So here we are. I wanna show you one thing too. If you can see uh, along the edges, um, I have also marked about three quarters of an inch in from the edge so that I know to stop my quilting at that edge because this is going to be a quilt as you go or this is a quilt as you go project if you choose. Um, I'm doing it quilt as you go so I need to be able to pull up the fabric to attach it to the next block so we'll talk about that again in just a minute but I wanted to point out that I had marked it with a little chalk pencil and um, that will guide me about where to stop quilting so I've got I've made my quilt sandwich I've got um, I've used this batting this 80 20 batting that is perfect for this project this batting in this size is just perfect for this quilt and you can buy it at collagequilter.com. So I've cut the batting to size and I've got a back as well. And now what I'm gonna do is just lay my quilt, uh, my block top, my block on this little sandwich like this. And then I'm going to use some basting pins. So I will baste this so that there's no movement uh, between the batting and the block and um, as I begin to quilt. So let me put a few of these pins in and I'll just show you how, how this is gonna look. And then I will take it over to my domestic machine, my Bernina, and I'm going to free motion quilt this. So you can see that I've just added a few basting pins and now it's ready to quilt. So let's go over to my machine and get started. All right, here we are back at my machine. I wanna point out a few things. First of all, these goofy gloves really help me to grip the fabric because I'm doing free motion quilting, which means I'm gonna be moving the fabric um, underneath the needle. The next thing is I wanna point out that I have put in my sti stitch, regula stitch regulator foot. This is on my Bernina machine so that it um, allows me to do free motion quilting and let's see anything else oh thread color so i have chosen to start with black thread and i always recommend um i i match my thread color to whatever i'm working on so when i get to this blue area i'll probably change it to blue or maybe not this time maybe i'll just keep it black um, but the thread color in the bobbin is white so here we are ready to get started i have my um bernina stitch regulator uh ready to go and here we go. You might be able to hear my little kitten in the background. That's kind of funny. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna just hold those threads and do a locking stitch. Now the way I like to quilt is um, on this machine. I love to just do what I call doodle stitching. And it's if I were to just be, you know, playing around with a piece of paper and doodling. kind of go around his little head here. You can see that my quilting is pretty dense because I've got all raw edges. So I want to make sure that all the raw edges are picked up with the thread. Now I'm going to, one thing too, always start in the middle and then I'm ready to move my, remove some of my basting pins. So I'm going to take that out and just continue. I think the black thread is gonna look kinda cool on this butterfly wing too. Pretty easy. Thank you. 
I've also used a little bit of ink tents on my design to kind of mimic uh, the veins in a butterfly um, wing. Now when it comes to this little eye, I think I'll just kind of outline it like that and then continue with the continue with the design. this little detail on his wing. Oh good, my kitten is crawling up my leg. <laughs> That's funny. I really need to let everybody see how cute this little kitten is that I have. His name is Blue. He's a Russian Blue kitty. Now again, I'm gonna take out this basting needle and just keep working. So I'll keep working on this and then I'll uh, have you join me again when I'm ready to, to do the outside. Okay, so I just finished quilting this block and I'm trimming the threads. I am so happy with the way this has turned out. I think it's just darling. Um, the thing that was really helpful for me was to have that little chalk line to make sure that I leave um, a little bit, see this edge, that will be joined to the adjoining block. So there you have it. I will see you again soon. Thanks for joining me.